Hello there! I know this is quite the intriguing video, but this is for a school science project, so no time to explain. Alright, here I have a bunch of chemistry equipment, and a few elements, but we're gonna get to that in a second. Basically, this is stuff that I'm not gonna use. Actually, let's just get rid of that, honestly. This is about electromagnets, and... Well, first we need to really start with what an electromagnet is. A soft metal core made into a magnet by the passage of electric current through a coil surrounding it. Or, or at least that's what Google says, and, and my science class. So, now we have a definition, but what does it look like? This is what an electromagnet would look like. As you can see, I decided to use copper wiring to show exactly what kind of wiring is normally used with this. Why? It's an excellent conductor. As you can see, copper is really good at conducting. Anyway, the tube or rod uh, in the middle would be made of a ferromagnetic material. Iron, cobalt, and nickel. See, look, iron... I believe this is, that's nickel, that's cobalt, yeah. How do you power it? Well, that's, uh, that's easy. It's a D-cell battery, yeah, right here. It shows a D-cell battery charging up the electromagnet. As long as the wire is touching both positive, this is positive, uh, over here, yeah, that's negative. So, as long as the wire is put touching both positive, which is the proton side, and negative, the electron side, then power will run, and an electromagnet will be created. This is also known as AC current? Maybe DC? Not entirely sure. Probably gonna cut this out. But we know what it is and how it works. How can we make it stronger? That if we add more power, then the electromagnet will attract much more than originally, and making the loops much tighter and closer together, and closer to the rod or tube thing, as shown over there, you can see it. Um, then the electromagnetic force will just absolutely be outstanding. With all this in mind, time for the analysis. After set testing with all of this, originally, when we, we had the loops not as tight and one battery running through, then we get, and we're measuring in paper clips hung off of it, we get around 11 by itself. But what if we had more batteries and more power? We get to like 14. Remember, unfortunately, we're only human. A human, that means we don't wrap it perfectly. Perfectly around, you know, so we can have full magnetic force, cause, cause we make mistakes and we're failures. Well, we were able to test it and get a general idea. And this is the kind of thing that we did at school. Hey, wait, what does this lever do? Oh crap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before the video ends, I, I gotta go over what I missed in my rubric. I mean, I want a good grade, you know? All right, let's uh, let's start with the uh, first one. What are some strengths of your investigation? What were some of the weaknesses in your investigation? For example, what is less scientific? Hmm, that's kind of an interesting one. See, strengths in our investigation were putting more power in and then finding out that more it could hold more paper clips. Although I'm sure there was possibly another way to do it, such as measuring it. Uh, you know, like how far it would be able to attract a paper clip in inches. You know, that kind of thing, with a ruler, testing it. I could, I'm probably going to show something on screen that pretty much shows what I'm trying to say. Anyway, on to the next one. If you were able to do this investigation again, what would you do to address the weakness in your lab? What could you do to make it more scientific? I would run multiple different tests instead of one. Like, instead of the uh, one where you just hung the paper clips off, like I showed in the art, or in the, in literally paint, in Microsoft Paint, because that art sucked. To make it more scientific, I would run multiple different tests that would have to do with how far it would take for the electromagnet to grab it. That's that's around it, actually. Yeah, that, that's that's literally it. So, um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, and uh, please give me a good grade.